welcome everybody to the book launch of Daniel Laxer's book. So uh, you may already all know that Daniel Laxer's book is called Listening to the Fur Trade, Sound, Ways and Music in the British North American Fur Trade, 1760 to 1840. Um, my name is Carolyn Padrushni. I'm a professor in the uh, history department at York University, and I run the History of the uh, Indigenous Peoples Network, um, which is uh, hosting the book launch today, uh, kind of based at uh, York University. I'm thrilled and so excited uh, for this book um, uh, in, 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 in part because I was Daniel's MA thesis supervisor. So I feel like I kind of witnessed the birth of the project uh, way back when. And it's amazing to hold the baby in my hand now. So very exciting. Uh, so I do want to welcome everybody today. Um, Daniel is actually going to do the land acknowledgement uh, for us today. Uh, so I'm going to, first of all, introduce Daniel to you. Uh, but just to let you know what's coming along is once I introduce Daniel, he's going to do, um, uh, after the land acknowledgement, um, a presentation for about 35 to 40 minutes. Then we're going to have a Q&A session, question and answer session um, for maybe about 10 minutes. And then the most exciting part is that uh, Daniel's going to be playing some historic fiddle tunes for us um, at the very end of this, uh, which is very exciting. We think it's going to go for an hour, but it might go for 10 minutes extra, depending on everybody's questions. So uh, ending roughly at eight, uh, maybe 8.15 kind of thing. And um, uh, let's see. I th OK, I think that we're ready to start. Let me just um, introduce Daniel fully to everybody. So uh, most of you probably already know him, but just in case you don't, Daniel grew up in Edmonton and he graduated from the University of Alberta with a BA. Then he attended York University to do an MA. And then he did his PhD at the University of Toronto, and he currently works as a researcher in the Negotiations and Reconciliation Division of Ontario's Ministry of Indigenous Affairs. So without further ado, I will hand it over to Daniel. Great. Thank you so much, Carolyn. And um, thank you so much for hosting this book launch. And thank you to the History of Indigenous Peoples Network at York uh, for hosting. So I'm coming to you from Toronto. Uh, the treaty territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit, First Nation, and ancestral homeland of the Huron-Wendat and Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe people. Um, I'm from Edmonton originally, as Carolyn mentioned, uh, which is Treaty 6 territory, um, and ancestral homeland of the Cree and Dene and Soto and Blackfoot and Nakota Sioux and Métis peoples. Um, for me, this acknowledgement is meaningful uh, as I've been learning this history for over 15 years and in my studies and work and in writing this book. And um, it's involved a lot of listening um, and I'm really happy to be here today. Um, so as Carolyn mentioned, uh, many of you know me, my name is, uh, but some of you don't. So I just wanna introduce myself fully. I, I see a lot of familiar faces. Um, my name is Daniel Laxer. I'm a non-Indigenous Canadian from Edmonton, born and raised. I moved out to Toronto after my undergraduate degree at the University of Alberta to pursue my studies at York and U of T. Um, just before I jump into introducing my book, I, I do want to say hi in French and in Anishinaabe Moen. Um, I use a lot of French on this journey and spent a fair amount of time in Quebec and even a bit of time in France. Um, and I deal with French sources in this book. Um, and I also took a semester of Anishinaabe Moen at First Nations House at the University of Toronto uh, from Alex McKay, which was an incredible learning experience and made a, a big impact on me. So here we go. Um, Salut tout le monde, bienvenue. Je m'appelle Daniel, je suis d'Alberta. And bojo, ami, Daniel Indigenicas, Edmonton Natonji. So welcome everyone. Um, thank you so much for joining this virtual book launch. Um, I must say I was a bit ambivalent when I realized this would have to be virtual, but the nice thing is that there are people joining us from, from far and wide here. So I'm really happy that, that we're doing it uh, this way in many ways. Um, before I get into the book itself, uh, I just wanna talk about why why would you want to study the fur trade? I mean, why is this topic important? And I think it is. Well, this is when interactions and relationships were first established between Indigenous and non-Indigenous peoples across what is now Canada. 
and indigenous scholars and activists such as Arthur Manuel point to this period as that in which the best relations between indigenous and non-indigenous peoples existed and when these relations were most reciprocal. The fur trade was predicated on alliances and partnerships between Europeans and First Nations peoples. And this period produced a lot of historical evidence that speaks to the incredible diversity of indigenous cultures and their traditional life ways and as practices on this land before the onset of settler colonialism um, and the imposition of Canada's Indian Act. Uh, and I think it's important to look and listen to this history carefully as we move forward into the 21st century. <clears throat> 